Hello, hello, hello. I am the Lennox Mensch. Today, I'm not going to go into a virtual machine. I'm going to stay in my bare metal computer, my main production computer. And of course, I'm running Arch Linux with the awesome window manager. And I update my Arch Linux system every day. And it only takes a moment or two. And when I do, you know, there's five or six or seven applications to update. So I updated it on Saturday. Then Sunday morning, I went and did another update. And there was like 136 packages to update, which is really odd. I mean, with Arch Linux, you know, if you go a week or two without updating it, yeah, I can understand it. But I just updated it the day before. So I don't know if Arch Linux is pushing out a ton of updates before the holidays. I really don't know. I'm just guessing. And after the update on Sunday morning, the big update, my power manager stopped working. So just in case you don't know, the Linux kernel has built into it something that automatically turns your monitor off after 10 minutes if you don't use your keyboard or your mouse. It's supposed to save your monitor. I don't even know if it's necessary nowadays. And if you're running a desktop environment, you're going to have built into it a power manager and a screensaver. So if you want your monitor to go off, you know, every half hour or every hour after your computer is idle, you can program it that way. Or if you want your monitor to never go off, you can program it. Most of the time, I spend most of my time in window managers. And if you've been following my channel, watching my videos, you'd know that. Now, window managers don't come with a power manager or a screensaver built in. You have to install a separate one. If you don't have a power manager built in, like I said, the Linux kernel is going to automatically turn off your monitor and make it go black after you don't use your uh, keyboard or your mouse for 10 minutes. So in my window managers, I usually install the XFCE4 power manager. And I program it so that my monitor never goes off because I don't like it when my monitor goes off. And if I'm not going to use my computer for a while, I shut the button. And if you use my post install script, my Arch Linux post install script, you will have the XFCE4 power manager installed. So anyways, after this big update yesterday, because today is Monday, after the big update on uh, Sunday morning, my XFCE power manager wasn't working. Every 10 minutes after my computer was idle for 10 minutes, the monitor would go black. And what even happened is <laughs> I turned on a YouTube video to watch a YouTube video, and I went to, away from my computer to lie down and watch the video. And after 10 minutes, the monitor went black. The Mate desktop has its own uh, power manager and screensaver apps. And I also have them set to never allow the monitor to go off. And when I logged into there, the Mate power manager was not working as well. Now, the funny thing is, is that the GNOME power manager was still working when I logged into GNOME. Why? I don't know. But the Mate power manager was not working, and neither was the XFCE4 power manager was not working. So when I was logged into Mate and any of my window managers, after 10 minutes of being idle, the monitor goes black, even when a video is playing. And I think I'm repeating myself a bit too much. So anyways, I found a workaround, a way to fix it. And today I'm going to show you. So let's get to it. So what you want to do is you want to go into your, uh, if you're running a desktop environment, you want to go into the desktop open up your power manager settings and or your screensaver settings and turn off the power manager and turn off the screensaver. And if you're running a window manager, then you want to go into your window manager configuration file or your window manager auto start file and set it to turn off the power manager and the screensaver so they don't go on. And the reason why is because the solution I'm showing you, it can be overridden by your GUI power manager settings or your GUI screensaver settings. You want to turn it off. So 
like I said, I'm not going to go into a virtual machine today. I'm going to stay in my bare metal computer, which is running Arch Linux and the awesome Windows Manager. So I'm going to open up my terminal here. And I'm just going to make this a little larger. There we go. And I'm going to... Let's go into dot .config. Dot .config. Let's go into awesome. And let's clear the screen. Let's ls it. So in the awesome window manager, I have an auto start file. So I'm going to vim into it. So you can see line 11 is the line that turns on my XFCE power manager every time I log into the awesome window manager. And I commented it out. I put the hashtag there or the number sign there, which deactivates the line. So now when I log into the awesome window manager, it's not going to turn on my power manager. Because like I said, the power manager and the screensavers can override the solution I'm going to show you. Okay. Now, if that line, like line 11, if that's not in an auto start file, if it's actually in your configuration file, you have to comment it out there as well. So let's just get out of here. Let's ls it again. Let's clear the screen. And when I clear the screen, I'm holding the control button down and hitting the L. Control L clears the screen in any terminal and in the TTY as well. So now I'm going to go into, uh, I'm going to ls it, and I'm going to go into RC Lua. So I'm going to vim into RC Lua, and I'm going to go to the bottom. And at the bottom here, before I started using an auto start file for awesome, I had all my auto starts right built into the awesome configuration file or my awesome configuration file. So you can see line 805. Line 805 was the line that used to start my power manager before I started using a, an auto file, an auto start file, which you can see is in line 796, which directs you to the file we were just looking at. So anyways, the whole point is, is that if you're using a window manager, you want to turn off your power manager and your screen saver settings because they can override the solution I'm going to show you. And if you're using a desktop environment, you want to go into the GUI and turn off your screen saver and turn off your power settings. So now I'm going to close that. And then what you want to do is, let's CD out of there. Let's clear the screen. and. You want to, if you're logging in through the TTY, which I do, now I have login managers installed here, and really they're called display managers. I have them installed, but I don't use them that often. Most of the time I'm just logging in from the TTY through Stardex. So if you're logging in in the TTY through Stardex, you want to vim into your xenet rc file. And see line 3? You want to put line 3 in there. Okay, just the way it is. Then what you want to do is you want to log out. Now you don't have to reboot, but you have to log out of your window manager and back into it. If you're logging in through a login manager, which they're really called display managers. If you're logging in through a display manager, or like I said, a login manager, then you want to do this. You want to have in your home directory a .x profile file and that same line in there. If you already have an X profile file in your home directory, then you can just copy that line into it. But if you don't, then you can make a file and you can see I don't have one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a dot X profile file. Control L clears the screen and I'm going to do vim period or dot X profile just like that. Okay, I'm going to hit enter. And now I'm going to type out that line. Now I don't remember exactly what it was. So I'm going to copy it from my xenetrc file. So I'm going to open up another terminal. Okay. And I'm going to do uh, less period xenetrc. And I'm just going to copy this line because I couldn't remember exactly what it was. Okay. And I'm going to paste it here. And that's it. And I'm going to save the file. And I'm going to close this. And that's it. So now, let's just vim back into it. Well, it's full screen. That's it there. So now this is going to allow 
my solution to turn on when you're logging in through a display manager or a login manager. And like I said, if you're logging in through the TTY with Stardex, then you're going to have that line in your XNRC file, which is line number three. And I'm going to quit out of there. And of course, when you do this, regardless of whether you're doing it in the XNRC or you're doing it in your X profile, you have to log out of your desktop environment or log out of your window manager and log back in in order for it to work. Now, control L is going to clear the screen. And now I'm going to type in this command, X set, leave a space, dash Q. Now, what we're looking at here is this line at the bottom says it's disabled. So that means it's working. And the kernel is no longer going to turn off my monitor and make my monitor go black or blank when the computer is idle for 10 minutes, when I'm not touching the keyboard or touching the mouse. Now, DPMS, what that stands for is this right here. DPMS is Display Power Management Settings. And that's always turned on by default in the kernel. Now, if you're using a power manager like XFCE4 or the Mate power manager or one of the power managers that comes with your uh, desktop environments, they override this. Now, for some reason, like I said, after the update, for me anyways, the XFCE power manager stopped working and the Mate power manager stopped working. So I turned them off and I'm using this and it works. And it works because I know it works because I tested it in three computers <laughs> and I tested it using XNRC and logging in through the TTY and I tested it using .x profile and logging in through LightDM and it works. Now it says prefer blanking. Blanking just means your computer monitor, your monitor goes black right? And it says yes. And the cycle is 600. Now that's 600 seconds, which means 10 minutes. Now, if you do X set dash Q, and if it says enabled here, then it means it's turned on. And you don't touch your mouse or your keyboard for 600 seconds, or 10 minutes, your computer monitor is going to go black unless you have screen setting program or a power manager setting program from your desktop environment or in your window manager overriding this. Now, the other thing is I forgot to mention in my uh, introduction is that after I did that big update Sunday morning, yesterday morning, and I realized my power manager was no longer working, I thought, Let's revert to the previous version of the power manager, of the XFCE power manager. Because usually that works for me. When I do an update in Arch Linux, if an app stops working properly, I can always uh, download and install the previous version of the app, and that usually fixes the problem. So I tried that here, and that didn't fix it. But this did. And that's it. In this video... I explained how after a large update Sunday morning, yesterday morning, my XFCE power manager and the Mate power manager in my computers, all my computers, stopped working. So that after I haven't touched my mouse or my keyboard for 10 minutes, my computer monitor goes black. And how... <laughs> I turned on a YouTube video to watch it and I went away from my computer to lie down to watch the video. And after 10 minutes, even though a video was playing, after 10 minutes, the computer monitor went black. And I showed how to fix it. And I explained that you want to go into your desktop environment and turn off your power manager and your screen saver settings. And if you're using a window manager, you want to go into your configuration file for your window manager or your configuration file for your auto start file to turn off the power manager 
to make sure it doesn't turn on when you're logging into your window manager. And then I showed you a command to enter into your Xena RC file if you're logging in through the TTY with Stardex. And I showed you how to put that same command into your .x profile file if you're logging in through a login manager or a display manager. And it works. And like I said, I tested it in three bare metal computers and it's working. I deleted the XFCE power manager from my computers and I deleted the Mate power manager and the Mate screensaver. I don't need them. I can stop the screen from turning off with this command. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Lennox Mitch.